area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. The clip will blow. I'm not talking fast. You're listening slow. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. If you respect the handle, subscribe to the channel, man. Cortez versus Jack Boy Main. I definitely watched it to enjoy it. I did not get a bunch of notes and quotes in this one because I was focused. I really wanted to see. Who was going to be delivering and was this going to be a 100k battle? I'm going to be honest with you, it was. It was. Boy, oh boy. Jack Boy Main comes out in his first round. He's flaming. He's got bars. He's moving. He's using the syllables and the heat is break. I mean, like he's just rapping really, really good, putting together sets of bars and haymakers. And Cortez really didn't seem phased. He was just, you know, standing there. Just listening to his things, you know what I'm saying? He gave Jack credit. That's the one good thing I do say. He was giving him credit when he was dropping haymakers and things like that. And Jack's first round, you know, he has some fire in it. Cortez comes out in his first round, bro. He starts wilding out the gate. Bugging. Like, he was bugging on Jack. Like, he in and out of pockets of flows. Had a good cadence. He didn't lose no win. Like, he was rap. Cortez was rapping like he owed somebody $100,000. I ain't gonna hold you. Cortez was rapping like he, he, do, do, Cortez, do you owe somebody some money? Cause you was rapping like you want your respect. You was rapping like, you was rapping like Sue Surf played you. You was rapping like, yo, when he start rapping like that, Cortez was in a different bag. I said somewhere during the, the Cortez's rounds that, yo, Cortez is rapping like he wants to win the whole thing. I'ma just be honest with you. In order to keep it a buck, I gotta be honest. Cortez was rapping like he wants to win the whole entire thing. Um, I had Cortez win in the first round. Uh, second round, Jack comes out and he's in his bag. Like he's just like barking, like he's he's wigging in his second round, going all, all up and down pockets of flows. Cortez comes out and he's more of the same, continuing with the fire. This battle was heading up to be one of the better battles of the whole tournament. Like it was it was one of them ones. Like they wilding on each other. First round, I had Cortez. Second round, very, very, very close. But the shit that Cortez, like he was the way he was attacking Jack, I could see why the judges and a lot of the fans gave Cortez the second round. Jack Boy's third, he was wigging. I got him winning the third, I'm not gonna lie. I do got um, Jack Boy winning the third. But overall, Cortez was just that veteran presence. He just showed that he's hungry and that he's not playing with nobody. He's not taking no prisoners. He's not um, wasting no time. But what I will say about this is Jack in this tournament, Although he lost the battle, to, and then there's going to be some that felt like he won. Although he did not get the battle from the judges and from the fans, um, he upped his catalog. He upped his stock. He upped his brand. I'm, I'm pretty sure that we won't see Jack Boy. Hopefully, if he continues what he's doing, we're not going to see him on no more of them store legacies, Survivor Series, and all of that. Like, I think Jack really elevated himself today and that's the thing that you want to do there's only going to be one person that's going to win a hundred thousand there's only going to be one person and after this tournament you want to see who ups their stock who ups their catalog who leaves an impression you know what i'm saying that's the biggest thing to leave an impression to change how the trajectory of your career is going because like i said only one person is going to win a hundred thousand jack boy did his thing and if jack boy would have won and they would have gave it to him i wouldn't have been surprised because jack boy didn't stumble he didn't stutter he didn't fumble he had nothing that really took from him but it was cortez showing that veteran presence that veteran energy that veteran hunger like he's he's on a war path to prove against whoever that he wants to come out of that bracket he wants to be on known and he wants to win a hundred grand both of them did better than they did last time uh jack was was, was very fire Cortez stepped his shit up from the official battle. I didn't even know it was possible to step up from his last performance, but he did it, and he did it very well. 
Like I said, Cortez is not taking no prisoners. And if you got to stand in front of Cortez, you better pack your lunch, whoever's left in this tournament. Because I'm telling you, Cortez is on one. And he's not hes not about to play with nobody. Um, salute to Jack Boy Man. Like I said, he did his thing. But uh, in this regard, uh, the veteran presence, the veteran energy just uh, showed. And it took over. In, in the times that it needed to, you know what I'm saying? So um, it is what it is, uh, and it will be what it will be, but uh, you know, we're we, we gonna see what happens next, you know what I'm saying? Like for Jack Boy Man and for Cortez. But for that Murder Ave thing, <laughs> that Murder Ave gang, Brooklyn! Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. They say it's a young man's game, but that's the thing they all dread. But when it comes to that 100K, they really might give it to that old head. Cortez! Woo! Cortez really might win this. Cortez really might win a 100K on you niggas. Hold on, let me, let me shine some light on the subject. Because y'all niggas need to see this shit clear. Cortez! You know, last week we had the Cinderella story because, you know, nobody had Jack Boy winning. Um, you know, no, nobody thought Jack Boy Man was going to make it past the first round versus T-Top. And then Jack Boy Man went off on T-Top. They said the same thing versus Cool with Cortez versus Official. Oh, my bad. What's good, y'all? your boy Showtime. That's Peter. Nobody that knows about Bow. Let's get back to it. They said Cortez wasn't going to beat Official. They said Official was the closest one to get the farthest. And literally, that's wrong. KCJ advanced again. Let's, let's keep it all the way funky here, okay? You young niggas don't want this money. That's what Cortez is telling you. First, second, and third round, you can argue Cortez to win every round. I'm just saying you could. You could. Me personally, first round, Cortez was smoking. Second round, I liked Jack. Then he started to ramble a little bit more, but I kind of gave that. Because for some reason, when you rap too much and they call time on you, I don't know how I feel about it, but sometimes I'm like, all right, all right look, he had more. I kind of got to give it to him that way. But they both prepared, over-prepared over the time frame. So salute to both of them for that. This battle itself is a war, but when it gets to the third round, it's kind of like, all right, I kind of want to give it to whoever. It's not the definitive round, but it's the round where both of them clearly let off the gas. Me personally, I'm going to have to get this battle to Cortez. Cortez, okay? The drip of the Sazon, they ain't even have to go crazy for that, but then I had thought about it because I just had tacos today. And what happens is it is that Sazon that, that's in the meat, that's in the ground beef. Because when you be trying to take a bite of the taco and it be drip, I, I just, I would just catch it. Never mind. I just wanted to let you know that now I'm I'm believing it, okay? I was I was just playing around, but it seems like the only one that really want this 100K, I mean the one that really want this 100K is the most veteran nigga in this whole goddamn tournament. This nigga was here for the first tournament, and he is here now. We're not talking about the first Ultimate Madness. We're talking about literally the very first smack to... Cortez, 2-1, man. Come on, I'm going. 